And welcome back everybody. In this lesson we are going to talk about another neural filter called the landscape mixer. Well we have a landscape here and I'd like to change the tone of this. I'd like to change the seasonality, the topography. I want to actually make this fall scene into a winter scene. And I want to kind of really make it look very natural and sort of preserve what's originally here. So there's a number of different ways that we can do this. First of all, let's go ahead and once again, let's go back into our filter and choose Neural Filters. And this is going to pop up once again on the right hand side with our Neural Filters panel. And you're going to see that there's going to be an option here called Landscape Mixer. So when you click on that here, it's going to see here magically transform a landscape by mixing with another image or changing attributes like time of the day and season. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then notice there's some presets they can work with here in terms of, you know, different weather, uh, maybe different topography, like it could be the desert. Notice there's a little sunset coming in there. You can totally, totally transform anything that you have here. Also notice that down below, there's day, night, sunset, spring, summer, etc. All right, now in order for these to not be grayed out, let's go ahead and just toggle that on. And again, notice it's in beta. You can always give them feedback. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is let's go ahead and just add on some winter to this. And let's just see what it does, right? Because I want to make this into a snowy scene. And I'm just going to blast this out all the way to the right. And you will see that as soon as I do that, it's going to say processing on the device. And it's going to do the best it can. It's going to maybe add on some snow, of course, maybe remove some leaves, just have a little bit of a dusting. So hopefully it's going to look more like winter. And although that took a little bit of time, we finally ended up here. And you can see, not too bad, right? So maybe it's the beginning of winter. It's just right after there's a little bit of a dusting, right? Not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and just add on potentially some other things here. Let's just go ahead and maybe make it at nighttime and see what that does. So I'll just bring this up a little bit. Maybe not so dark at night and just bring it down in terms of light. Let's see what that does on top of everything else. And again, we might have to wait a little bit, so I'll pause the video and come back to it as soon as it finishes. And not too bad. And you can see how it preserves a lot of the lights and the shadows coming from the trees and everything like that, but it's a different time of the day. Maybe it's even, you know, in the morning. Okay, so lots of cool stuff you can do here to really, really transform things completely tone-wise, mode-wise, mood-wise, everything. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this because it's not ideal for me, but you know what? That's a great start. And then here I am back to my original. So let's go ahead and do that one more time. Let's go over here to filter and we're going to say neural filters again. And this time I'm actually going to choose one of their presets. And the presets, again, are going to be up on top here. So let's go ahead and just do one more time, landscape mixer. And then I'm going to choose, I don't know, let's just say, I don't know, one with like a lot of snow. Okay, so let's just try that one. Click on that. Notice there's my strength. You can always control that. Typically, after the fact, I don't like to interrupt it, even if it does let me. But once you click on it, the processing begins. Now let's just see what it does. It's really kind of having a lot of information built in to what that snowy, snow cap, even mountainous paradigm is part of, right? Meaning that it's winter time. So really gonna give you a lot more snow than possibly working with the winter that I just dragged over to the right. And look at that. To me, that is a true winter scene. And it's amazing because what it transformed it from was this little mountain scene. So depending on what you want, you're going to want to really experiment with all of these, right? Because it's quite possible you want a very different scene. Hey, but guess what? You can always come in here and modify it. So just for fun, let's just go ahead and see what the sunset might look like with this scene right here. Let's go ahead and bring this up a little bit. Again, waiting for it to process see what we're going to get with a nice blasted out winter scene converting our autumn scene which is in the day and then adding on sunset and that's pretty neat right you can see there's a nice little glow right there and it's shining through some of the leaves and we've lost a little bit of our snow so keeping that in mind that you may have to make some kind of compromise for one versus the other 
Okay, beautiful. I'm going to cancel out of this one one more time. I'm going to show you a third way that you can create the look that you're looking for. And that is going to be based off of a pre-existing image that you have. Okay, so once again, let's go over here to Filter, Neural Filters. And then let's go over here to Landscape Mixer. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to move away from this Presets tab and go over here to Custom. Okay, and then notice here it says select an image. Now, you could have an image that's already up because you were looking at it. So when you say select image, that other image may appear here in the drop down. But I'm going to go ahead and select an image from my computer. And you should have access to this if you want to try this out. And you might have to actually go looking through it here because notice it says PNG. This image is a JPEG. And notice here I have a snowy river. Okay, so just keep that in mind. It's a little bit odd. It doesn't show all of them. You have JPEG, JPG, and then PNG. So if yours is not showing, you'll have to click on this little drop down. And then here is Snowy River. And now I just double click on that. And it's doing its thing. There it is. That's its model. And it's looking for all that snow. It's processing. And there you have it. And look at that. Pretty, pretty amazing. It actually just really recreated snow on branches. So delicate. Now, here's the beautiful part. I'm now going to export this from my Neural Filters panel into a Smart Filter. And I'll be able to control little bits here that I may want to see. Because maybe you don't exactly love this, so you want to put a little finishing touch and some tweaks onto it. So I'm going to click on my little drop down here. I'm going to say Smart Filter and then very simply choose OK. And you could have done that with the other two that I showed you as well. But just note here, I am in my Layers panel with my new image, and also here is the filter. Okay, so what am I going to do now? I'm just going to go ahead and see what I can poke through here to be able to say, hey, you know what? Don't necessarily want that original. I don't want this new one. I want the original to come through. So guess what? I'm going to go back over here to my brush, I'm going to poke through that, and then let's just see what's going on inside the river here. And I'll poke that through. It's like, oh, okay, you know what? That doesn't totally make sense because it's showing, you know, maybe images of my original one as a reflection. So I probably don't want that. So I'll just switch back to white. And then I'm just going to go ahead and mask that back. Okay, that's what's so nice about masks. But you know what? Maybe I'm kind of creating this like effect here. Well, you know what? I'm going to have the top part here of my trees. I'm going to make them just very, very slightly, just like that. And then maybe down here, I'm actually having them do a little reflection. Let's do these guys up here. And then maybe just a little reflection there. So I am really kind of telling a story. And then maybe I'll bring down my opacity a little bit so it's not so strong. Are these guys here, here, and here? Maybe just along the edges. Just doing my best Bob Ross Photoshop style. And you can see, I'll you know, switch that back and maybe not so, okay, not too bad. So what I'm wanting you to get out of this is that I can very, very easily control what I have here, right? I do not necessarily have to stick with what they're giving me. I can control it, number one, with my own image. And number two, when I bring it in, I can then affect it with my masking on the smart filter. So really extraordinary. Looking at different times of the day, different seasons, different images, maybe making it sunset, maybe a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, everything you have here, but completely transformed and completely realistic. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.